So let's get to it. 20 Linux commands. So the first one is if config displays your detail about your network, Ethernet card, IP, etc. The second one is how to create a file. You can use the touch, name of the file, and then the third one, ls, you can list the files in the directory that you're in. So here we see it, our new file has been created. We can also remove the file, new, and then tap file. If we ls again, the file has been removed. If you want to clear your screen, you can use clear. And if you want to put a, little, a bit more details on it, you can use LA, ls slash LA. That will display all the details, including hidden files in that folder. Remember, if we use just the ls command, it only shows us the folders, but there's a lot of other things in that particular folder that is just hidden. So here we see the rights to the file, who created it, timestamp, file size, and name of the file, of course. Let's say we want to know where we actually are. So print working directory. That will say that we are in uh, Kali on the home and we can now navigate between these. So if you use cd dot dot, that will move us uh, one folder up. So now we should be in the home folder. It also displays that here, but we can use print working directory again. We can also move back to the Kali, but let's see what we have in this folder. Okay, we only have Kali. So let's say cd Kali. And now we are back in the original file. So let's just clear here. And then let's create a file where we actually put something into it. So we have here, let's say, hello. And we want to put that into our file. So we'll just say hello.txt. And now we can try ls. So we have a hello file. Let's say we want to see what's in that file. So we can use the cat command. So let's see the privileges for our file. So let's ls. And here we see, hello, and we have uh, read, write, and there is no uh, execute on this one. But let's change that. So we can use the cmod command, and then five, and then our hello file, like this. Let's just use it without the LA. And now we see, hello, that has become uh, access uh, right to this one. So we didn't have that before on that particular group, but we didn't have it now here if we scroll down and see that. Perfect. So let's just clear this up again. So now we want to search in our file. So remember we created the hello file. We can just quickly do a cat of it to read it. So it's hello. Let's create a new file that is just empty. So let's just call it again, new file .txt. So now we have two files, one with hello and one that is empty. So the way we can uh, search in a file is to use the grep command. So we can use grep and then we can type the search term that we want. So let's search for hello just to illustrate this. And then we need to type the file that we are searching in. So here we see that we found hello by using the web command, but let's try it on an empty file just to see the difference. And here we didn't find that particular term. So imagine you have a file that is very big, then it's quite easy for you to find a given result. That could be, for example, a log file where you are searching for a particular string in that uh, log file. So the web command here is very useful for that. So if you want to impress your friends by looking like a matrix hacker using this command right here, then all you need to do is actually just install the package related to that. And I have it right here. So sudo apt install, you can use this for any package. If you click this, it will just download the version. I already have it. So it just checked that I already had the newest version. And then you can basically trigger it at any time by just writing this command. If you want to have a graphical display of your file structure, you can use the tree command. That will display it in a more graphical way, uh, where you can see what is underneath each of the folders. If you want to see uh, the real-time system processes, you can use the top command. That will print uh, real-time, so it means that this will be updated continuously. But if you click Control Z, that will stop that. And then we can say PS Ox, that will display a list of all the active processes. But that is not real-time, so that will not be updated. So if you want to update your packages, you can use the sudo app no. get update. That will update all the packages that you have on your particular Linux version. So in case you want to execute something that you have downloaded or a script that you have lying on the uh, version already, I have this file here that I've uh, downloaded. So you just type dot forward slash and then the name of the file and then you will be uh, 
executing this. And here it says I need to root, so I need to execute this with the sudo command. But you get the idea. 